Hi folks, so the next question we're actually faced with here today guys is another little bit of recap. Um, it says, given are the projections of a tetrahedron, okay, uh, determine the inclination of the surface A to the horizontal plane. Locate the line 1, 2 in the plan as well. Okay, uh, we're going to focus on the first part of that uh, question there guys. It says, determine the inclination, so determine inclination means angle, okay, of the surface A to the horizontal plane. So what they're asking basically is, the surface A here, we can see, obviously, okay, it's sitting on the ground, it's on our XY line, but we want to know what surface A is as an angle to the horizontal plane. So the only way to find that is to kind of uh, get a true length on it and um, look in along that true length, okay? So first of all, I'm just going to bring this down so you can see it fully there. All right, and what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to probably either find a true length or identify a true length or make a true length, okay? Um, so just looking here, I'm going to forget about one and two now, but if I was to label surface A, I'm going to label it with letters, and I'm going to say, because A is already used, I'm going to call it B, uh, call it C here, and D. So if I label that in plan, B is the apex, C is down here, and then D is over here, just to show you that they all connect up as well. Everything's in line. You can see there B comes down from the top. The exact same with C. And then D. Okay. Um, now, what we actually have to do is we try and identify a true length, okay, or make one, as I said. So, a common line that's actually on the ground, we can see C and D, okay, this line here, C to D, okay, the trace of the line C to D, that line there is actually on the ground, both C and D are on the ground, whereas B obviously has a height to it. So, if C and D are parallel with one of the principal planes, okay, the planes of reference being the vertical plane or the horizontal plane, okay, that means in one view, if they are parallel with that, and we can see, obviously, I know it's on the XY line, but that because it's on the XY line, that means it's parallel with it as well. So the line CD is on the XY line, parallel with the XY line. Therefore, the line CD in plan is actually a true length, okay? So what that means is basically the line CD is like this, okay? But when we look straight in at it, we're seeing kind of CD here in elevation as a shortened version, but in reality it's like that, it's just sitting straight in the ground. So when we look at something that's on the ground, like this pen, that's a true length, okay? So what we can actually do is we can identify that there as a true length, okay? And using that true length, because that's on the surface A, we can find C and D as a point view. So this is going back to what we did in a previous question, we can find it as a point view, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to look along that there now. So I'm going to set up an X1, Y1. Okay, I'm going to project out because I need to look along it first of all. And then I'm going to set up an X1, Y1 perpendicular to it. So something like that, that'll do. Probably bring it up just a touch higher. Based off where B is there. So about there, I'm guessing that should be fine, yeah. So that's going to be an X1 y1 okay and if i project it up c and d i'm also going to have to project up b okay and my plan view project from the plan take our heights from the elevation so we can see b is up there b is going to go up as well okay might have to extend that a little bit higher i'm thinking just a touch okay and if you project from the plan, you take your heights from the elevation. Now, I know both C and D are on the ground. So technically, this here, this point here, is a point view of C and D, because I looked along a true length, so that's called C1, D1, right there. Now what I want to find is B1. So I'll take the distance from my elevation, the XY line up to B. That distance there. Come to where B is in my plan. Locate it up here. Didn't even bring it far enough. Just extend it on a tiny touch. And what I've now found is B1 up here. Okay. And there we have A or sorry B1, C1, D1, which is B C D, but I see it as an edge view. This surface here, the surface A, okay, so I'm gonna write in there. Surface A, okay, put an arrow into it, edge. 
view. And when I see it as an edge view, what that actually gives me is its inclination, or I should say angle, okay, to the horizontal plane. There's its angle to the horizontal plane. You don't have to measure it, but we've just found the angle, okay? Now, uh, that's the first part of the question done. The second part it said was locate the line 1, 2 in plan. Okay, so 1, 2, we can see they are on uh, the line, 1 is on the line BC, and 2 is on the line BD. So, very, very simple. They are there in elevation, simply just projecting down in plan. Okay, so find where 1 is in plan. Just make sure I get it 100% accurate. About there. And then the exact same with 2. And what you'll actually probably notice is, I'm going to label that there, that's 1, that's 2. Chances are, because that is a level line in our elevation that's parallel with the line CD, okay? So that's a level line going across my face of the surface A. That should, okay, and I'm going to put this in actually heavy. I'm going to put, I put it in heavy up here as well. Okay, it's not important. You don't have to put it in heavy, just for demonstration purposes. It should be parallel with my true length. Depending on my accuracy. Yeah, and I'm quite happy with that. And we can see the line 1, 2 in our plan view is parallel with our true length. And what we have to notice is it's parallel with the XY line, as we can see. Therefore, this is actually a true length also in my plan view. Only in this case, it's not sitting on the ground. It's up off the ground, but it's parallel with the horizontal plane, therefore making it a true length. Okay? If I wanted to find the projections of that, I could project it up one and two, and they would come up here, and they would hit somewhere on this, on this line here, on, this, on the edge view of surface A, and I would see them as a point view as well. Okay, uh, next question. So, guys, question two. I'm just going to move over there. And what we have here is it says the plan and elevation of a lamina are given. Okay, a lamina, guys, is basically a triangular uh, surface on a plane. Okay, an oblique plane. And it says determine the inclination of the lamina to the horizontal plane. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to determine its inclination to the horizontal plane. So basically, what we have to do is once again kind of find the true length. So I'm going to label it. This time, it doesn't give me a letter at the start. So I'm going to say this is A, this is B, and this is C. So I've got A here, got B out here, and I got C. And I'll match them all up in a second because I will have to make heights and take heights off them. So just to make sure everything is lining up. So C A is lining up with A there. C is lining up with C, and then B. There we go. Okay, now what we want to find is a true length. Okay, so A to C, is that a true length? A to C? A to C, no, because neither A or C in elevation or plan are parallel with our XY line. Okay, A to B, no, in elevation it's not parallel, and either is it in my plan view. But B to C, we can see, okay, in my elevation, it is parallel with the XY line, okay? Therefore, in my plan view, that is actually a true length. So I'm going to write that in once again. That's a true length in my plan view. So what we're going to do is we're going to look along that true length, okay? We want to see that true length as a point view, and we're going to set up an X1, Y1, and what we're going to get is the inclination to the horizontal plane then, okay? So look along that true length. And then just gonna rotate around. I'm gonna set up an X1, Y1. And then I will also project down A. And that's gonna have to come a good bit further actually. And the A has gone way down there. This is my X1, Y1. Okay. Now what I can do is. I'm going to take the distances for B and C, which are the same. Because when we look along true length, we're going to see it now as a point view. So that there is now B1, C1. B1, C1, that's a point view. Okay, and the next one then I obviously need is A. Okay, and A 
is up here at the very very top and come down to A here project it out then my plan might have gone off the page there guys so I'll just move the visualizer down there now so bring that down there so you can see it a bit better I know A has gone up here but you know where I got it from okay and now I've got A1 out here okay and if I connect them up what I have basically got is an edge view of my lamina okay lamina edge view and because I can see it as an edge view okay because I can see that as an edge view now I can actually see its inclination once again in this time to the horizontal plane okay inclination to HP horizontal plane okay I hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys um, very very similar in both questions okay where we basically looked along the true length that we had in our plan views okay this one over here actually was the same thing it was an inclination to the horizontal plane as well okay uh, very important there is being able to identify where the true lengths there guys so uh, best luck with the two of those try and get them done guys and we'll move on to the next uh, little bit on oblique planes okay